And I was all like, you know, you're the noob, eight-year-old. And I think I got him. Hey, what's up? This is a special edition review of EA Sports NHL 12 for OperationReality.org and SteveDangle.com. I am Steve Dangle, and this is the Justin Fisher, who is about to lose severely. Justin and I are about to play each other, but first we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. The winner gets home ice and gets to pick the loser's team. Best turn of three? Screw that. So, okay. So I'm dead? That was late. Fine. First of all, I'm going to take my team here. i got to go with my uh, hometown Toronto Maple Leafs. And here, let me pick this for you. No, wait. Wrong menu. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Leagues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be the Brampton Battalion. That's who you're going to be. You're going to be the OHL's Brampton Battalion. Yeah, he didn't see that one coming. Ready to play? Press A. Go ahead. Press A. Good luck, uh, random junior team. Uh, you're going up against uh, one of the NHL's most storied franchises in the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now that you're the Leafs, I think I'll just troll you with all the stuff I get trolled with. Okay. 1967! One of the really neat things about this game in terms of gameplay, but not on the ice, in the menus, is that there's the brand new action tracker, which actually lets you choose highlights from the game and watch them right away in the main menu. It looks like a replay that you'd see on, you know, the sports show the next morning, the highlight reels. Yeah, well, and it was also kind of frustrating where after the game, during 11, yeah. they'd be like, hey, here's some highlights, and they'd show you a random save. Mm -hmm. And it might be a good one, or it might just be the puck accidentally hitting him. Yep. This thing makes sure that it gets the real highlights. Generally, you want to score when you dangle, not press start. One of the things the NHL or the NHL series has really improved over the past few years is hitting. They did it again this time. But the thing I was most impressed with is if you go in for a hit at the speed of light and you're going into a player that's much bigger than you, Chances are you're going to take some of the hit, or you're even going to just fall down, like in real life. You're not going to throw a giant body checks every shift, but because it's harder, it makes it more satisfying when you do throw a big hit. And you'll notice certain things, like it's a lot easier to roll the puck off the stick, um, it's a lot easier to uh, lose control of the puck, and that might sound like a negative, but all in all, it's all these little subtle changes that just make the game seem... Four more realists. Oh, oh, sorry. I need to stop there for a second. How does that feel? It... Expected. Okay, okay. There are some changes to to gameplay that are uh, that are going to be noticed a lot more, and that is uh, goalie interference, I think, is the biggest one. Now, you can suddenly run a goalie over, as opposed to just skating around him. He's Intentionally no and unintentionally. He's no longer a fixed object. You can just... Yeah. How does that feel? What... Oh, that's a goalie fight, right there. You're a jerk. You need the smelling salts? Yeah, you need. Huh? Oh, I got an email. You're a jerk. That's the subject. One of the things I was really happy with uh, in 11 is that in uh, Be A Pro, you can choose a junior team, play in the Memorial Cup, and uh, then start going through the draft and all that. The only problem is the Memorial Cup is like, what, four games? If you're a hardcore dork, Exhibit A, I want to go right from when I'm drafted into the OHL. And in 12, you can do that. Sam Carrick, leave draft pick. Don't get killed. <gasps> Ooh, ho, 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 ho. 16 seconds left. 16 seconds left. That was dirty. You should get that. I felt bad for making you oh, yeah. play against a superior team like me. And superior player to be in fact. Yeah. Now I gotta score on James Reimer, and I don't want him. Cause I like James Reimer. You're making me hurt those I love, Justin. Oh, you smell. Just give me the puck. Oh, that soda <laughs> penalty shot. Good call, Stripes. Good call. You're not gonna score. I have Sykin in the net. Oh, what? That wasn't necessary. There's five seconds left. You should be ashamed of yourself. I scored three goals in you. I look at this as a victory. Whatever. This is a victory. It was an OHL team. Whatever. Are you gonna handshake? Yes, I went grade three on you. Some people wanted to know about the soundtrack, and uh, unlike last year's, we're happy to say that there are no songs about soccer. Okay, one thing that does kind of annoy me about the NHL games, though, is, uh, like, what are some of the big things you've heard of coming into this one? Oh, you can check the goalies now. Oh, when you when you hit a guy, he, he might go through the glass. Oh, his helmet might come off. They used to have all those things, and then they took them out. You can't have something, take it out, and call it new. 
There are lots of things about NHL 12 that are new, that are good, but these ones, even though I love them and I'm glad they brought them back, I think are kind of cheap. So the ultimate question, should you buy this game? People have been asking me, and I, I've read some people criticize it that it's just NHL 11.5. Those people aren't totally wrong. There are a lot of good things that are different with this game. There's not a ton. A hard course, you're going to buy it. If you're on the fritz, try it out at a buddy's house first. Um, because honestly, I like the differences from 11. Not totally different. People do say that every year, but it's not always true. If you've played 10 and 11, you know 11 is nothing like 10. 12, kind of similar. That's all for our NHL 12 review on OperationReality.org. My name is Steve Dangle. You can follow me on Twitter at Steve underscore Dangle. This is Justin Fisher. You can follow him at the Justin Fisher. Thanks for watching.